Writing experiments are a fun and easy way to see if a new way of writing or a different type of writing would help your overall view of the writing life be better. And if perhaps the writing that you create during your writing experiments can teach you something and help you improve. I'm Julie Jordan Scott, the Creative Life Midwife. I'm coming to you today from Jockey Hollow, where during the US Revolutionary War, Union, they weren't called Union then, revolutionary uh, soldiers camped here in the winter. One of those horrible, horrible winters. I don't think they did writing experiments then. Some of them did write though, a lot of them kept journals. And my most recent writing experiment lasted for 40 days until I accidentally broke it. And that writing ex experiment is called Roll Over and Write. Here's how Roll Over and Write works. I have been a fan of Julia Cameron for years. In fact, I credit her with a lot of my creative growth. It was after I started doing her three page long, everyday morning pages that I started acting. <laughs> I don't know if I would have acted. I don't know if I would become would have become a mixed media artist if it wasn't for doing morning pages. And sometimes they get to be too much. So people stop doing them, including me. So roll over and write is an antidote or a method to do daily writing that doesn't feel so heavy that you can do as as you are getting up and there's no rules except rolling over in bed and writing. One of the things that I love about roll over and write is that there aren't rules. Like my notebook here, some days have a paragraph written, some days have a couple pages, but I always gain insights. I always learn new things. And unlike Julia Cameron with all of her rules, I read this, I go back and read it and I look for goodies and I make lots of lists and I, I, it isn't always done the same way, but it is done every morning. I'm adding something though because I've restarted. I don't give up easily. <laughs> and I restarted and in doing re my restart, I'm actually starting yet another writing experiment. I started doing this sometimes with roll over and write, but not every time. And what it is, is that before I go to sleep at night, I literally keep this under my pillow now. Um, and before I go to sleep, I write a letter to my highest self, who I call Julianne. And I say like this, here's one entry. And I said, dear Julianne, wouldn't it be wonderful if I let go of feeling guilty? Wouldn't it be wonderful if I consistently push through my feelings of can't, not enough, don't wanna, they know me better than I do, etc., etc. Julianne, when I look over my entries, I really see how you've been leading the way. I am grateful. Tomorrow morning, you and me. And I also wrote, um, no, that was the next day. Sometimes I ask Julianne to, to light the path for me. I will specifically say to her, hey, Julianne, could you give me some dreams to help me figure this out? Or Julianne, can we meet on Rumi's field, please? I, I could use some advice. And that's basically coaxing her into helping me figure things out, helping my subconscious to give me wisdom in the morning that I can then write in my notebook. Um, and this is a great experiment. And I'm wondering if you might want to join me a little bit at night, a little bit in the morning. You could use your morning as a dream diary of sorts even before you get up out of bed the very first thoughts a sentence a couple words a page keep it under my pillow or on my nightstand nothing fancy i hope you'll try it out i'm julie jordan scott the creative life midwife i am so grateful that you're watching and i am grateful to know that you are open to the fabulousness of writing experiments